Hi, welcome back to class. Welcome back to iCourses.org. Once again, my name is Claude, and uh, I'm your teacher again today. Okay, now we're talking about inference questions. Well, as it states, this is going to be about information that's either inferred or implied. It's not directly stated. So, um, as it says here, these are ideas that are not directly stated in the text, but it's uh, ideas that you can come to based on what the author is saying. Um, some examples of these types of questions would be, which of the following can be inferred? Well, if they use that word in the question, you know it's an inference question. Or, the author implies this. There aren't a lot of uh, different words that they can use. So if you see infer, imply, suggest, words like that within the, the, uh, within the question, you know it's going to be an inference question. Um, now, if that's the case, be careful about details. If there's an answer in the question that is a specific detail, that's not going to be the answer. Um, it has to be about stuff that is not directly stated. So, take a look at this example. This shark's behavior and social structure is not well understood. In South Africa, great white sharks have a dominance hierarchy depending on size, sex, and squatter's rights. Females dominate males. Larger sharks dominate smaller sharks, and residents dominate newcomers. When hunting, great whites tend to separate and resolve conflicts with rituals and displays. Great white sharks rarely resort to combat, although some individuals have been found with bite marks that match those of other white sharks. And now the question. What does the author imply about great white sharks? A they rarely fight other sharks. B. They use rituals and displays to avoid conflicts. C. They may bite in order to show dominance to other sharks. D. Their behavior is clear to scientists. Starting with A. They rarely fight other sharks. Although this is true, it is directly stated in the text, so therefore it can't be an inference question. It says, Great whites rarely resort to combat. So, that can't be the answer. And B, they use rituals and displays to avoid conflicts. Once again, it states in the text, great whites tend to separate and resolve conflicts with rituals and displays. So once again, that's not an inference question. C, they may bite in order to show dominance to other sharks. In the last sentence, it says, Great whites rarely resort to combat, although some individuals have been found with bite marks that match those of other great white sharks. So, here it does mention about bites, but it doesn't say that they actually bite other sharks. They just say that the bite marks match those of other white sharks. So, it can be implied that C is true. But, as always, we should check the other answers before we make our decision. D. Their behavior is clear to scientists. Now, this is another example of them giving information which is exactly the opposite of what is stated in the text. In the first sentence, it says, This shark's behavior and social structure is not well understood. So, we know that's not the answer. So, if A, B, and D aren't the answer, then C is the correct answer. Okay, so you can see from the example um, that it's really important to identify the main idea, either of the whole passage or of just the specific part that they're looking for. Usually, the main idea is not going to be uh, any different throughout the whole passage. So, the next thing, make sure that the answer you choose does not contradict the main idea, does not say something different. Um, remember, the answer is not going to be directly stated. If there's an option that has something that's directly stated in the passage, even though that information may be true, that's not going to be the answer. Um, it's an inference question or something that's implied. Uh, so do not choose an answer just because it sounds right. Um, because even though the information is not directly stated, the reason is always going to be stated. So once again, look in the surrounding information. The context will always tell you the answer. Okay, so that's inference questions. Um, stay tuned for more videos about the different question types. 
Uh, thanks for stopping by the iCourses. We always have lots more information at the website, so go check that out. My name is Claude.